So good afternoon, um, everyone. I can see that uh, the participants are slowly joining, and I hope I'm audible. Uh, I'm Sharda, and uh, I'm an assistant professor in the Archaeological Sciences Center. Usually, um, Professor Prabhakar is the one who begins, uh, you know, hosting the webinar. But today, unfortunately, he is not in town, and so I have taken over his job. Uh, so, I welcome all of you to the 29th um, talk in the Archaeological Sciences Center's webinar series, uh, which we have been very successfully conducting for all more than two years now. So, today we have um, <clears throat> someone um, who we all know quite well, uh, and we uh, kind of synonymize him with field studies from the Harappan civilization. Um, uh, Dr. Ayumu Konasukova is here with us. And uh, Ayumu and I were batchmates. We did our PhDs around the same time, and we have known each other for very long, more than, uh, I think, 10, 15 years now, since uh, Deccan College days. And um, he and I worked on the sites in uh, Haryana, the Harappan sites in Haryana, like Farmana and uh, Mitatal and Hiravad and other places. So it's a uh, pleasure to have uh, Dr. Ayumu with us today, and uh, he will be talking to us about his uh, very extensive work on the Harappan seals. So I will now ask um, our student, Umka, to introduce him, and then um, Dr. Ayumu will uh, share his presentation and uh, start the talk. Well, good evening, everyone. I welcome you all for today's talk. Uh, so for today's talk, we have a uh, lecture series. We have Professor Ayumu, who will be talking on the Harappan seals, having a right-facing motive, animal motive, its significance for understanding the chronology or regional variances of the Harappan seals. Professor Ayumu is an associate professor in Kyoto University. He has received his PhD from Deccan College, Pune, and his research interest is focused on the socio-economic, political, and cultural structures of the Indus civilization that developed in the territory of present-day Pakistan and Northwest India, with a specific focus on the seals from the early Harappan to the Harappan period in the Gagra Basin. Sir, we thank you for your valuable time. You may now begin the talk. Okay, thank you very much for introducing. Okay, so I am sharing my PowerPoint. Yes. Yeah, okay. So yeah. hi everyone. So I, I am Konasukawa. So I'm from Kyoto University. But now I'm in Pune, so right now, so on a research trip. So first of all, so I have to say thank you so much to Humanity and uh, Social Science IIT Gandhidaga for kindly arranging of this Archaeological Science Center webinar. It's a great honor for me to have a talk here today. My PhD from so, Deccan College, so in Pune in 2013. And now I am associate professor, uh, graduate school of Asian and Africa area studies, Kyoto University. My research interest is focused on the uh, socioeconomic, political, and uh, cultural structure of the Harappan civilization with a specific focus on the seals from the early Harappan to the Harappan period in the Gakkar Basin. So actually, so my understanding of the socio-economic, political, and cultural structure of the Harappan civilization has already been published in some books in Japanese, <laughs> not sorry, not in English. So I do hope that I can talk about so it also another opportunity. Today, so I would like to talk in detail about the Harappan seals. I'm talking about Harappan seals having a right-facing animal motif. Its significance for understanding the chronology or regional variations of the Harappan seals. And uh, this talk consists of my published and forthcoming papers. So if you cannot understand my Japanese English, uh, please read them also. Yeah, okay. So before starting my talk, 
So I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to the body of organization and the people who supported my research work in various ways. Thank you so much for everything. Yeah, I'm going to my talk. I'm again, so main aim of this talk to apply so various aspects of Harappan seal having a right facing animal motif for understanding the chronology or the regional variation of the Harappan seals. Yes, structure of my talk is as follows. One, so previous research on the Harappan seals and I'm of today's talk. Two, Harappan seal discussed in the present study. Three, design of the Harappan seals. Four, comparative studies of the Harappan seals through SEM and uh, PKIT analysis. And uh, five, short summary. Type B, type B seal, so mean regional variation. And uh, six, type B seal mean chronological variation. And seven, Harappan seal production in the Gakkar basin based on the microscopic and experimental analysis. And uh, discussion and conclusion. I think my, as for my talk, today's talk, it takes almost one hour, I think so. Yeah, so needless to say, so there are many, many important previous studies on the Harappan seals. The Harappan seals have been studied from various viewpoints and approaches since the beginning of archaeological studies on the Harappan civilization. Uh, comparative analysis of shapes, motifs, and size of the seals, as well as attempt to decipher the Indus script. Furthermore, now there are four volumes of corpus of Indus seals and inscription. In recent studies, also, they are still in a formative stage of research. Some scholars have discussed the manufacturing technique of Harappan seals through SEM and 3D analysis. The study of early Harappan and Harappan seal has made advanced over the past 10 years. Uh, starting with Professor Jonathan McKenoya studies, young scholars have conducted the seal studies from differing points of view, including scientific analysis of raw materials, technique of manufacture and carving strides, and as well as the analysis of motif and shared their method, interpretation, and uh, questions. This research direction will probably bring about advanced on the study of seeds and a new understanding of the socioeconomic, political, and uh, cultural structure of the Harappan civilization. In this uh, research direction, the chronology or regional variation of the Harappan seeds, even if they are still in the research processes, must be taken into consideration for discussing various aspects of the Harappan seals because they have been studied without much consideration of those research issues. In this talk in webinar series, uh, the detail of Harappan seal having a light facing animal motif will be applied in light of their typological study and uh, the uh, result of recent excavations in Pakistan and India for understanding the chronology or regional variation of the Harappan seals. I do hope that uh, the result of this talk will do indicate new perspectives to the archeological study of Harappan civilization. Okay. The Harappan seals can be divided into three major types based on their shapes and style of depicting motif and scripts. Type one, type one, this type. A uh, square C having both on reverse. Type two, uh, square C having motif and script inscribed on both of bars and reverse and thus having no boss. Type three, this type, uh, oblong C having convex shaped set cross section with a hole pierced across each section uh, instead of carving out separate boss. Only script are inscribed on the obverse without any iconographic motif. This uh, present paper focused only on type 1C, 
square C. Since this type makes up the largest number of seals excavated from many sites in the various regions. Yes, this type seals, square seal. This is my drawing. And uh, please remember, there are uh, the Hanapan Sea having a left facing animal motif and the Hanapan Sea having a right facing animal motif. So this is important for uh, this talk. The number of seals published in the three volumes of CISI, so which motif could be identified amount to uh, 1,740 seals, uh, with 43 additional seals from the more recent excavations as of now. Uh, also, the number of seals will increase in the future. According to the following rule, a total uh, count was taken from the number of published seals. Uh, regarding the motif depicted on the surface of seals, only seals with legible motif were conducted in the present study. And their classification is essentially based on the shear SI. However, even if the motif is recognized as a unicorn is the shear SI, some seals were the motif is uh, illegible, so were excluded from the data for analysis. Regarding the direction of animal motif depicted on the surface of seal, uh, namely left or right, the data consists only of the seals with a uh, legible animal direction. Furthermore, 51 unfinished and uh, 106 to uh, 1069. 69 broken seals are reported in the CISI and other report, but these are omitted from the present analysis. Also, 86.5 uh, seals are concentrated in Mohenjo Daro and Harappa, the major two urban centers of this civilization. A few examples. Uh, Northwest discovered at even small and medium sized sites in each region. And in this study, only the seeds found within the territory of the Hanappa civilization is considered for analysis. Okay, so some specific features of Harappa seeds are discussed here. So, such as motifs, so depicted on the surface, arrangement pattern of their motif shape of the both and their distribution pattern. So this is done to understand if there are strict rule of design of the Harappan seals. 1,451 seals for analysis in this study. So this total number of seals means a number of seals having an accurate arrangement pattern of motifs. The motif depicted on the surface of Harappan seal consists of a main animal motif, main animal motif, and in the script and stuff, so etc. The arrangement pattern of their motif can be classified into three major patterns. Pattern, a main motif, main motif. So it's engraved in the lower part of the surface along with the index script, which are depicted in the upper part of the surface. Uh, sorry, part two, this one, pattern two. A main motif is engraved in the center part of the surface, and in the script is depicted in the uh, space of the surface, not to restrict to the upper part. S means so script, sorry. Pattern three, only a main motif is engraved without any in the script. Next, the boss on the reverse of the Harappan seal is also an important feature to consider in the classification of their design. Also, there are only a few lateral photographs, photographs showing a boss of the seals, even in the shear side. Uh, the boss of Harappan seals can be broadly divided into two major types. Type one, the both as a typical example, is shaped in symmetry by an incised center line, incised center line, 
on the square or blue node square shaped boss. And type two, the boss is a simple one in comparison with type A, uh, type one. So it is shaped in uh, just square or blue node square shaped boss without an inside center line. Assuming the design depicted on the surface of Harappan seals is not just an so aggregated of the motif, but arranged under a secular rule. It is possible to grasp a standard of basic design or a rule for arranging each motif. It is clear that 95.7% seals can be sorted under arrangement pattern one. So as is indicated by this result, it should be noted that a standard rule for the arrangement pattern of a motif is very strict. Furthermore, the arrangement pattern one, arrangement pattern one is basically expressed along with a left facing animal motif and type one boss. The standard rule of design of the Harappan seal is based on arrangement pattern one, a left facing animal motif, and type one boss. So this strict rule is here considered as, as a basic design of Harappan seals. And in this talk, the seals made following this rule of design is called type A seals. Please remember this. Okay. So another type of Harappan seal has been reported from recent excavation. Uh, this type is characterized by this one, not uh, left-facing animal. This type is characterized by a right-facing animal depicted on the surface of the seal as a main motif. Now, 74 Harappan seal having a right-facing animal has been uh, reported as of now. So also the number of seeds will increase in the future. The Harappan seed differ from type A seeds in some uh, other respects as well. Those differences are chiefly seen in the arrangement pattern of motif, type of both in the script and their distribution pattern. The majority of Harappan seeds having a right facing animal uh, characterized by arrangement pattern two or three, not pattern one. As for uh, both, the type of both is also differ from type A seeds. Almost all of the Hanapan seal having a right facing animal have a square or blue nose square shaped boss without an inside the center line. So defined as type two boss. Like this. Yeah. And uh, in the script, so used on the Harappan seal having a light facing animal, are uh, restricted to only 71 signs as of now. So this is also, so the number of signs will increase in the future. This type of seal shared common in the script to a high degree, like this. For example, this type of seal excavated in the Gakkar Basin are uh, characterized by common in the script, such as a diamond-shaped sign, a fish-like sign, a spear-like shine, a dot-shaped line, and a tree-like sign. Those specific in the script are also used on this type of seal discovered from Harappa and Barakot. So it can be pointed out that this type of seal so bore some specific in the script, which were shared in a broad area, extending throughout this urbanized society. Uh, concerning the high percentage of, of uh, common in the script within the Harappan sea, having a right facing animal, so which are uh, discovered in the Gakkar Basin. So it is important to note that uh, these seas have functioned on a different rule of design in comparison to type A seals. Furthermore, so in the script engraved on this type of seals are not expressed 
expressed in uh, reverse. So which is the case within the signs on type A series. Okay, next. So regarding the distribution pattern, it is clear that the Harappan seal having a light fencing animal are concentrated in the Gakkar basin. Uh, gray color in circle graph means type A seals. And the black color in circle graph uh, mean, means the Harappan seal having a light facing animal motif. Also, the other regions were characterized by a high percentage of type A seals, like this. 75 percent seal have a light facing animal in the Gakkar base, excluding Kali Banga. So in Kali Banga, 28.3% still have a right facing animal. Particularly in Banawari, 90% still have a right facing animal. On the other hand, the percentage of this type of seal is 2.6% seals in Sindo. 6.2% uh, seals in Gujarat, 12.5% seals in Balochistan region, and 1.1% uh, seals in Harappa, respectively. And uh, compared to the size of the type A seals, so we can also see that the size of the Harappa seals having a light facing animal motif concentrate on very, very smaller size, like this. Okay, so the majority of this type of seal is characterized by, so arrangement patterns two or three, and type two both, a high percentage of sharing common in the script, and uh, comparatively higher concentration in the Gakkar basin. Thus, so the Harappan seeds defined by these specific features are referred to as type B C in the present talk. Okay, so next. This part will discuss the manufacturing techniques of the Harappan seed through SEM and PK 3D analysis to identify any differences of carving techniques among the type A and type B seeds. Also, the observed samples are few now, but uh, the SEM and the PKIT 3D analysis demonstrate that different carving techniques and the tools had been used to carve the motif depicted on the surface of type A and type B seeds, respectively. Research method is very, very simple. So based on PKIT 3D and SEM analysis. So first of all, I made silicon replica of the seeds like this. And uh, this is a nanotechnology lab of my university, Kyoto University. And then, uh, uh, so this so technology hub, so has SEM machine and 3D machine also. And uh, then I coated the silicon replica by Platina for SEM analysis and uh, 3D analysis. And I also 3D images based on, uh, based on the same silicon replica. So to get various information such as shape and depth of carving marks, etc. cetera. Or like this, this is SEM images. So we can get uh, good information so about uh, manufacturing technique. And this is a uh, PK to 3D data. So we can get uh, uh, information uh, such as shape and depth of carbon marks, et cetera. Actually, I made many, many so SEM images. <laughs> like this body part and leg part, this is a whole part, and this is a backside part. So we can get many, many good information based on the SEM. Okay. 
uh, the material comprised of four Harappan seals, uh, the materials for uh, SEM analysis and 3D analysis, so comprise of four Harappan seals from Farmana, and 11 Harappan seals from Banawari, and four Harappan seals from Mohenjo-daro, and one Harappan seal stored in the Okayama Oriental Museum. All the seeds excluding the example from Okayama Oriental Museum are archaeologically documented artifacts from the Harappan period. Regarding the seal stored in the Okayama Oriental Museum, so it was interpreted as a typical Harappan seal through my previous research. Okay, so peak and uh, 3D and SEM images give evidence of manufac man manufacturing techniques of the seals. For the aim of uh, the present study, so special attention is paid to the shape of a cross section. Shape of a cross section, this part, this part. Shape of a cross section passing through the body of the animal depicted on the surface of the seals. So based on the peak to images, also data for the analysis still limited, Harappan seal can be classified by the shape of a cross section passing through the body of the animal depicted on the surface of seals. Namely, uh, where the edge of the cross section is carved, carved section. Yes. So refer to as concave section. And another one is angular, not a card. Yes, like this. Yeah. So referred as a scaric section. So the bottom of the cross section of the animal motif's body is formed smoothly to make a curved cross section or an angular cross section. The depth of carving of this part, this part, so is deeper than other part. The average depth of a concave section is measured to 2.3 millimeter and a squaric section to 1.3 millimeter, so like this. So it is presumed that the shape of a cross section of the animal motif's body is first curved roughly and then formed by the back and forth stroke, so which are done repeatedly. And the depth of carving is in proportion to the frequency of the strokes. Furthermore, the concave section, concave section basically correspond to type A seals. On the other hand, the scarry section basically correspond to type B seals. Oh, sorry. Type B seals. Concerning the site from where the seals came, the scarry section is characteristic of seal found in the Gakkar basin. Next, okay. Through uh, SEM analysis, as is confirmed in PKIT 3D analysis, it can be pointed out that the shape of a cross section passing through the body of animal motif depicted on the surface of the seals are concave. Concave section. And Scarish section, like this, not the concave one. Yes, like this. One minute. Yeah, so a curved cross section, concave section of the body of the animal motif was first curved roughly and then defined to make that shape. So like this. According to the observation of small fine marks, so you can see small fine marks on the SAM images, uh, seen at the bottom of the body of the animal motif. So it is likely that 
the seeds make us so carefully repeat its uh, carving behavior, which is based on a uh, back and forth stroke. I think by using a uh, thin bronze or copper tools with a flat or a pointed head, so many times. Concerning the angular cross section, so scarlet section, was the body of the animal motif. It's, it, it was first carved roughly, and then the base of animal motif's body was shaped into a flat surface. The SEM image showed that a thin bronze or a copper tool with a flat head, so including one having a flat head measuring about 0.5 millimeter in width, was used to form a scarlet section. So we can confirm the, how can I say, uh, the size of carving tool also based on the SEM images. Oh, sorry. The SEM observations show that the differences of shape of a cross section of the animal motif's body, so mainly a curved cross section or an angular cross section, reflect the difference of carving techniques and tools used in the final forming process. And it may be so reiterated here that the concave section basically, concave section basically uh, respond, uh, correspond to type Cs. So on the other hand, the scarlet section basically correspond to type B Cs. And uh, furthermore, the scarlet section is characteristic of Cs found in the Gakkar base. Through SEM and uh, peak it analysis, the difference in the shape of the cross section passing through the body of the animal depicted on the surface of the seals give an important clue to understand variation of carving techniques among the Harappan seals. Uh, furthermore, these differences may indicate so difference, different manufacturing area of the respective type of seal. The Harappan seal having the scarlet section are uh, characteristic in the Gakkar basin. Thus, uh, the result of this part also lead to an important observation that the seals having a light facing animal with the scarlet section, namely type B seals, uh, very likely to show a part of the regional variation of Harappan seals. The Harappan seals can be divided into two major types. So based on their design, namely type A and type B seals. Specific features of the respective type are type A seals. The seals is characterized by a left facing animal motif, arrangement pattern one and type one both. And type B seals, the seals is characterized by a right facing animal motif, arrangement pattern two or three, and type two both mainly. Also, a few examples of type B seals are reported from other regions, such as Sindo, Punjab, Gujarat, so etc. So it is clear from the analysis in the present talk that type B seals are concentrated mainly in the Gakkar basin. Mainly, so Gakkar basin. So it is clear from the analysis, ah, sorry, main Gakkar basin. On the other hand, Type A seals are so prevalent uh, in the other region, so excluding the Gakkar basin. As the analysis through SEM and PKIT analysis show, the shape of the cross section passing through the body of the animal depicted on the surface of the seals is also different in the respective seals type. Type A seals have a concave section. On the other hand, Type B seals have a scarlet section. These differences may indicate differences in manufacturing techniques and tools. Also, the data for this analysis is very limited, and there are some examples which should be carefully considered on account of their chronological position. The tentative conclusion reached here to indicate that Harappan seal having a light-facing animal, namely, Type B seals, 
So represent a regional variation of Sarapan seals. Okay, I'm going to the second part of this talk. Okay. So it is no surprise that we can admit there are some variation of Harappan seals. So in this talk, for example, type A seals and type B seals. So this variation means regional variation or chronological variation. The first understanding is uh, regional variation as I have discussed. So, but so at this stage, as a situation with few materials having so definite so chronological position, there could be a lot of different views hypothesis, and the various views hypothesis must be synthesized in the final stage of research. In other words, so I'm not rushing to the final conclusion. So I would like to consider here so a second understanding of type B series in the following part. Now we have to take the result of Harappa and Farmana excavation into consideration for discussing about the chronology of seals from the early Harappan to much of Harappan period. On the basis of excavation at Harappa, the chronology of the seals from the early Harappan to the Harappan period can be proposed as follows. The seals from Harappa period two are characterized by geometrical motif. Next, Harappa period 3A seals are characterized by a right facing animal motif, type B seals. Next, the seals from Harappa period 3B and 3C are characterized by a left facing animal, so namely type A seal. On the basis of excavation at Parmana, the chronology of the seals from the initial phase to the later phase of Harappan period can be proposed as follows. Uh, as for that, this is a canal seals having a geometrical motif, mainly uh, typologically, so corresponding to the seal from Harappan period too. So next, the seal having a right facing animal, so namely type B seal from the lower layer of Harappan period too corresponding to Harappa period 3A. Next, the seal having a left facing animal, type A seal, from the upper layer of Panamana period 2, corresponding to Harappa period 3B and 3C. So according to the seal sequence from Harappa and Palmana, typologically, the sequence of Banawari seals can also be proposed as follows. The seal is having a right facing animal, namely type B seal from Banawari corresponding to Parmana period 2 lower layer and Harappa period 3A. And the seal is having a left facing animal, so type S seals from Banawari corresponding to Parmana period 2 upper layer and Harappa period 3B and 3C. And there are a few examples having some so intermediate future. This example has a typical type boss, namely type one boss of Harappan seal, but animal face is right. So this type, so has an early type boss, namely type two boss of Harappan seal, but animal face is left. Probably, so there is some possibility to place this example between the seal of the initial phase of Harappan period and the typical Harappan seals. So based on those preliminary chronology, the seals from the other side in the Gakkar Basin. So can be so compared chronologically, typologically to discuss their iconography, style, size, writing, and technology. So a preliminary chronology of the seals, including the seal from the Gakkar Basin is as follows. Stage one, early Harappan period, Kunar seal having a geometrical motif, so corresponding to the seal from Harappan period two, 
Next, stage two, initial phase of the Harappan period. So type B seals corresponding to the Harappan seal from Harappa period 3A and the lower layer of the Parmana period 2. And last one, stage three. So later phase of the Harappan period type A seals corresponding to the Harappan seal from Harappa period 3B, 3C, and the upper layer of the Parmana period 2. Next, based on the preliminary chronologies, uh, I need more 10 minutes. So, so finished my talk, sorry. So I'm talking about uh, variation and the continuities and the differences of seed production from the early Harappa to the middle Harappa period in the Gakkar Basin. So based on microscopic analysis. So based on SEM images, we can good to information about seed production, including carving and drilling techniques. So I, I made uh, SEM images of various parts of seeds for fully understanding, so in the seed production, body part, leg part, so drilling part of the both and the backside, etc. Also, so canal seed. So I made the same SEM image for the same purpose. Uh, please see also my forthcoming paper too. Okay, I'm talking about variation, continuities, and the differences of the seed production from the early Harappa to the mature Harappa period based on microscopic analysis. Uh, since time will run out, I think, so if I go into detail, so I will just take a quick look in this presentation. So I ideally wish I could explain in detail, so at the another opportunities. And uh, so please check my fourth kind paper too. Okay, so about body part, taking about kunal seal, the edge of the cross section of the body, angular. Type B seal, the edge of the cross section of the body is same, angular. Shape of the cross section of the body is almost same, but the carving mark is very different between the two. The example, sub having some intermediate features, the edge of the cross section of the body is similar to type B seeds. On the other hand, the edge of the cross section of type A seed, this one type A seeds, is curved, not angular. Curving mark is also very different between the two. We can observe different curving techniques through the period. Now, angular to curve, and rough carving mark to fine carving marks. Next, about leg part. So we can observe different carving techniques through the period, like this. Simple carving to, how can I say, uh, sophisticated carving, yeah. Next, home part. We can observe different carving techniques through the period, again, like this, oh, sorry. Yeah, simple carving to uh, complex carving, yes. Next, straight line path. We can observe almost the same carving techniques through the field, like this. Yeah. And the drilling part of the both, rough drilling marks to now we can observe fine drilling marks like this. About the backside of the seals too, rough shaping marks too. Fine shaping marks. Okay. So actually also the data for analysis is very limited and there are some example which should be carefully considered on account of their chronological position. But I'm going to conclusion of this talk. Now we can understand their variation, clear continuity and the differences on the seal carving techniques from the early Harappan to mature Harappan period. These variation, Actually, so 
continuities, these uh, variation continuities and differences show the variation continuities and differences of a part of Harappan seed production from the early Harappan to the much Harappan period. The present study concludes that the craft people from the early Harappan stage one to the Harappan period stage two and three held the selection of the raw material, soft stereotype, and some aspect of the carving techniques in common, and some aspect of the seal carving techniques tools in stage one were passed on to those of Harappan seals stage two, namely type B seals, and gradually developed into those of typical ones in stage three, namely type A seals. Now we can have two understanding about the type B seals. First one is type B seals mean regional variation. So if so, so it is emphasized that this regional variation or diversity of the Harappan seals, as well as regional differences in ceramic assemblage of the Harappan site, reflect a part of diversity of Harappan civilization. Because Harappan seals are the most important indicator of the socioeconomic, political, and cultural structure of the Harappan civilization uh, because of their significance and functions. The second understanding, the type BC mean chronological variation. If so, that is how we can fully understand the seed production from the early Harappan to the mature Harappan period. And it also leads to an understanding of continuities and differences of various aspects of the Harappan series, including motif, industry, carving techniques, etc., through the age, through the periods. Needless to say, so these various view hypothesis must be synthesized in the final stage of the research. Okay, so there are six future direction of research from the present study, which are listed as follows. One, to undertake a comprehensive study of the Harappan seals. Uh, that is based on an uh, actual observation of all seals to reappraise the result of this study. Two, to discuss the typological change of the Harappan seals based on the seals found in the so relevant archaeological context from new and future excavations. Three, to accumulate the SEM and 3D data of the Harappan seal for understanding the manufacturing technique of them in a full sense. Four, to undertake a study of the Harappan seal based on an ex experimental archaeological study to understand and uh, reconstruct the manufacturing techniques and tools of them in a full sense. So actually this analysis is almost completed by me. Uh, now I am comparing the data from microscopic analysis with the result from experimental analysis. So I do hope I will have so uh, to talk about this also in, at the, another opportunity. Five, to undertake a geological provenance study to understand the provi uh, provenance of stereotype for making type A, C, and type B, C, respectively. And last, oh, sorry. Six, to undertake a comprehensive study of the material culture of the Harappan civilization to understand the meaning of the socioeconomic, political, and cultural diversity of this civilization. So again, so my understanding of the socioeconomic, political, and cultural structure of the Harappan civilization has already been published in the some books in Japanese. So I do hope again that I can talk about it also. So another opportunity. Yeah, okay, I'm stop here. So thank you very much. Thank you, Yuen.
uh, perfect with the timing. Exactly 50 minutes. Ah, okay, thank you. You still have 10 more minutes. <laughs> so, um, but thank you so much for this very comprehensive um, treatment of the subject. And, you know, we can see that you've really like covered a lot of territory and a lot of regions. And um, thank you for showing us all those wonderful SDMN, um, you know, those microscopic pictures and the different types of analysis that is possible on the field. Because uh, we are all very fascinated with this cultural material, with this, uh, you know, um, uh, very important uh, evidence of the Harappan civilization, but we, our fascination remains only to the, the animals or to the, the, the script itself that is there on it, but we don't go beyond it at times. And I think your study has attempted that. So uh, I will now request all the participants, um, if they have any questions or comments, to please put it down in the Q&A box, as we always do. And um, we will take them up one by one. So uh, right now, I, I see one question already there. So I will, Ayumu, is it OK if I start with the first one? Okay, sorry. In fact, in fact, you can also open the Q and A box, and ah, um, okay. you, know, you can. Uh, I will read it out the question, but if you are not able to follow something that I say, you can also read it for yourself. Okay. Hmm. So the first question is by Devashish, <clears throat> and he asks, uh, "What could be the possible reason for concentration of type A and type B seals in two different regions of the Indian subcontinent?" Okay, so I can show you again. Mm. Yes, you can see this. Yeah, yeah, one minute, please. Sure, sure. Okay, this one. Okay. Yeah, so as for so distribution pattern, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, so there are some circle graphs in the map. So gray color in the circle graph mean so type A seed. And uh, black color in circle graph is type B seeds. So I think so based on this distribution pattern, so we could and uh, uh, how can I say? We could understand so concentration of Harappa type A C and uh, type B C S. So into the different regions of the Indian subcontinent. Yeah. Okay. So what could be the reason for this variation in concentration? Hmm? He asks, what could be the reasons for the variation in concentration of the two types of seeds. How can I say, uh, uh, how can I say, based on the how can, percentage. Okay. Yeah, so please uh, see this circle graph, the mm -hmm. gutter basin. Mm -hmm. Actually, 75% seeds, actually, uh, seeds have, Right facing animal like this. Actually, comparatively, comparatively, so I think concentrated into the gutter basin. So this is a, a present understanding. Yes. Very sure why. Why? Okay. So um, okay. any any other. Questions or um... so if if I may ask you a question? Yes, yes, please go ahead. Uh, sorry, some noise. I will I will close my uh, door. I think Michelle had a question. I think we can come back and ask you. And meanwhile, um okay. I request the other participants if they have anything, please type it in the QA box. Okay, but Michelle. You My question ahead. was this. See, normally we, we are told by most archaeologists that seeds, of course, reflect trade practices, trade 
exchanges and um, identification of regions or communities or traders involved in, in such trade. So uh, now you are introducing a kind of a political element. So, uh, you know, state control uh, of trade is, is possible, but do you think this is what happened in the Harappan civilization? Was there the intervention of a state structure that you can detect from the seals? Or is it possible that the kind of distribution that you see uh, is still managed entirely by communities of traders and craftsmen? Mm. Okay, actually, uh, um, so based on the distribution of the Harappan seeds, actually, we can, uh, we can recognize, we can so ad admit so Harappan seeds in only actually 50 sites. So, as you know, there are more than 2,000 Harappan sites, but uh, only 50 sites have Harappan seeds now. Actually, I think so, uh, according to the distribution pattern of the seeds, I think there are uh, good trading so connection so between the cities, only cities, big cities only. So I don't know this is uh, actually, this, this was a uh, state level society, so I don't know, but uh, we can only now, so seeds uh, actually, uh, we can understand seeds came from only big site only, actually. Sorry, <laughs> very difficult of so questions. So, so I. What, what I mean to say is that there are very clearly you have demonstrated with uh, your extremely detailed study that there are definite distributions which are not random, which are region wise. Now my question, but I know I'm asking you to speculate and you, you don't want to speculate and that's that's fine. But my question is who, who decides? Who decides that maybe the Gaga region will have more of a you know, right facing uh, animal pattern. And uh, so there are certain decisions which are taken at a certain level. Can, do you think that just uh, trade organizations, craft organizations could come to such conventions or does it require the intervention of a state? It's not a... Yeah, actually, so your yeah, question is so very, so, so difficult but important questions, actually. So I think who decide? So I can say now, I think, so there was no king in the Harappan civilization, as you know. I think so merchant, merchant, so decide the rule of the seeds and they use seeds based on their rule. So I think so. Uh, but um, how can I say? Many, many uh, village people were there in the Harappan civilization. But I think they couldn't understand Harappan seeds. And uh, no, no, they didn't need so Harappan seeds and uh, in the scription also for their life. I think so. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so there's one more question by. Okay. Um, based on the examples you have showed, um, it appears that type B seals also carry a shorter text, one or two signs, compared to type A seals. Is this true? Yeah, this is true. Yes, this is true. So actually, so type B seals uh, have very specific so set of indescriptions. But um, very short text, shorter text. So in comparing with type A series, yes. Okay. So design is so uh, very different. So between the two, yes. 
But um, so I told you, so there are two understanding. One is regional variation, and one is the chronological variation. Yes. <laughs> Any questions at the front? And um, yeah, that's uh, in the chat box. Let me just quickly check. So I think that that is all from the audience. Uh, thank you so much, Ayum, for the talk. Um, Michelle, would you like to say something? Uh, no. Again, I I would like to congratulate you for the amount of time, energy, patience that you must have spent hundreds of hours on the on the SEM and uh, taking those um, prints, you know, silicon prints of the seals. Uh, it's it's a remarkable work. It shows how sometimes, uh, you know, so much information is still hidden uh, in the material and uh, to be extracted through all kinds of innovative methods. So in that, uh, I think it's very important. And also uh, the this uh, region-wise distribution, your major conclusion is very important and we have to keep it in mind when we want to picture those trade networks in operation. So clearly there were regional markers, regional identifiers, and I think uh, your work is very important in this respect. Thank you very much. So I have one so comment. Uh, so thank you very much, sir. So as for, so actually, your question is about the uh, socioeconomic, political, and uh, cultural structure of the Harappan civilization. I think so. So actually, so I do hope that I can talk about that also. So is up uh, another opportunity. So I will prepare the presentation again. Yes, thank you very much. So actually, I, I need I need a reading paper. So I have to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem. And we would love to know more about the experimental work that you have been doing. And you mentioned that you will have uh, results from that, uh, you know, that study too. So thank you, Ayumu, and thank you to all the participants for joining in. And um, we will be back next month again on the last Saturday.